everyone, this is Georgina on What's Up Cayman. I want to start my show off with a little bit of history about the Cayman Islands. I'm going to start off easy for you guys, and then we're going to get harder. So the first question is, when was the Cayman Islands sighted, and what was its original name? Keep watching till the end to find out the answer. Over the Halloween weekend, Caitlin Tyson, Mariah Tibbetts, and I went to the haunted house here in the Cayman Islands. We all met during the Miss Universe Cayman Islands pageant as both of them are former queens. We really have connected and formed a lovely sisterhood. The haunted house was presented by Home Gas and was at Sandbar. In the past year, I have done a lot of things that are considered as scary. Facing your fear is a big step towards your success. When we walked through the haunted house, each of us experienced fear in one way or another. One of my biggest fears or challenges that I'm faced with consistently is remembering that I don't need to fit in and that it's okay to stand out. As a young girl, I was bullied for being a tomboy, for not having the latest clothes, shoes, accessories, for being skinny, for having hair on my legs and my arms. And as a little girl, all I wanted to do was to fit in. I kept trying and trying and trying, but it never worked or it made the situations worse. Many times I ended up eating alone and sitting by myself, I felt like an outcast. One memory that I will absolutely never forget is when my mom invited my whole class to my birthday party at Margaritaville. I can't remember if it was my ninth or my 10th birthday, but I was so excited. I got all dressed up and my family went all out with the decorations. We picked the perfect location at Margaritaville as I had a slide, a DJ, chicken tenders, a dance floor, and everything a little kid needs for a perfect birthday. The party was scheduled at 3 p.m. and at 3.30, two of my friends showed up and we were so excited. But then it rolled around to 4.30 and no one else showed up. My family tried to comfort me. As they said, they were just a little late, but after another hour, I knew no one else was coming. I was sad. I sat there in the chair in my shark towel and I cried until the party was done. That broke my little heart. I don't think my inner child has healed from that moment and that day hit me pretty hard and I didn't want to have another birthday party after that. But then when I got into high school, I started to step out of my shell and I realized that it was okay. I didn't need to fit in. I just need to find friends who would support me. It took me a while to fully express myself, and I'm still learning to this day. Everyone's fear is different, and they have to face it in their own time. So when I thought of facing this scary haunted house, I had to make sure I had great support. So that's why I did it with Mariah and Caitlin. Tonight, I am here with two queens, and we are at the haunted house. And you're at Cayman. When was the last time you both went to a haunted house? As we entered, it was really dark. There was music all around us. I asked Mariah and Caitlin to link arms with me so we could stay together. But it worked to my advantage as the actors dressed up would be touching and scaring both of them and I was in the middle, perfectly fine. It was decorated very well. Spiders, spider webs, cut off heads, blood, fake bodies, shipwrecks. Your imagination could go even more. It was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> It took us about 10 minutes to walk to the haunted house. so worth it. I interviewed Robert at the fish market in Georgetown. 
He talked to me about the places he goes fishing, how he catch the fish, the fish he had on the table, and the history of the location. Most of the snapper in the show? Snapper, she got a black snapper, uh -huh. red snapper, yellow tail snapper, mango snapper. This is the mango snapper in the show? No, Which this one? is the mango, mango snapper. snapper. This is the manga snapper. This one is is this one related to groupers? Yes, strawberry groupers. groupers okay. What the local people call it a butterfish or call it a hinds. And what's this one? That's a, a reef snapper. It's a big one? Yeah. Grow real bigger. They can get real big. Those one grow kinda big. And how long have you been doing this for? I've been doing this life for twenty seven years. Twenty seven years. Time. And where do you guys go out to catch these fish? Give well, me the secrets of where I can go. Oh yeah. <laughs> Well, um, the main bank where they go all the time to is 12 mile banks. 12 and um, we got people go like our shore for a couple of days, you know, like 60 mile all bank, right. pickle bank, pickle and, bank. Um, you know, and other banks out there okay. where they spend a few days. Okay. But the main bank we go, like Bailey, is like 12 mile banks, just 12 mile away. Yeah. So, like, go in the morning. That's that direction, the true. That is correct. So, like, go in the morning, come afternoon, and then we got people like fishing in the night. But, like, Five six o'clock at even time and come back maybe four or five in the morning. That's how it works. Okay. All yes. Right. So you know. And um, would you be able to show me how you got the fish or scale the fish if you have well, any? Actually, uh, actually, what we do oh. first, you know, the head of the fish here kind of uh, to 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 scale. Mm -hmm. So we will cut that off first. Okay. Cut off all of that first. And then we we'll cut the fins right here. And do you guys fillet them or cut them whole? We um we fillet also. Okay. That all depends what the customer want. You know, like most like when the tourists come, they want the fillet, no skin, no bone. Mm -hmm. You know, but the, like the, the Caymanians want the bone and yeah, everything, yes, everything. The local yes. people like the bones. They, they know to eat around the bone. Yeah. And this is what we do now after we clean the head. So. I need to get one of them tools. So. This is just a regular cutting board with yeah. stainless steel nail. And you guys made that? You just oh, made it. Yeah. Made it? What? Yes. That's a quicker way. I normally use my knife and it takes oh, forever. Well, at least you know the old time way. Right, I tell you. This is the new way. So that is how we get the job done like this, you know. And do you get a lot of sales from the people coming off the cruise ships? Well, actually, um, sometimes we get people on the ship. But what, what is, what, um, when the people come and ask about where they can get it cooked, the cabana is right there. So um, when they buy from us, they uh, um, we fill it or whatever. Mm -hmm. They pay a little bit more, so we supply the cabana with a lot of fish. So what we'll, we'll, we'll do, we'll just tell them to go there instead of just buy it from us, and you know, cause it Price. will be cost them a little bit more. That's good. You guys do business together. That's yes, great. Yes, so you know, I, I will supply them with all the fish over there. So that's what we do. And what's this one? Yellow tail snapper. Yellow tail snapper. So you got on the table now. You got about maybe like four different species of snapper as i said this mango. is a mango snapper this is a silk snapper black snapper this is the one i call a black fin black fin okay and then and then you got uh yeah you got like yellow these are the grouper ones yes. yeah so you got one two three four five different species of snapper oh, snapper is one of them more bigger family in, in snapper you got mountain snappers caribbean red I like my mutton snappers, they taste yeah, so, good. So, you know, so there's a lot about snapper. It's six actually. Forget I got the reef snapper over there. Oh, there you go. So, you got like six different species of snapper there right now. And your name, sir? Robert. And uh, were you born and raised here? No, I born in Jamaica, but I'm here for about, okay. I'm here now like 29 years. This market operating for the past 65 to 70 years, you know, and um, we just want to come out and sell our. Uh, our fish, fish yeah. uh, as poor people. I come down in the morning sometimes and I come out, like, wow. come out like four or five o'clock and start to rake the beach. You want to see this man. It, it feels good in yourself if you know that when you do something and people come and enjoy. Like okay. today, yeah. all the time when tourists, um, the boat comes, the beach is packed with people. Mm -hmm. I and, see it every time. Uh, you know, and me is the one who, who And they want to see the tarpons and some uh, of the fish. That, and that's, that is correct. This man it was a beautiful seat, so yeah. you know, it was all full this man. Well, thank you for your time, Robert. No and problem, I just want to, are you here on most days? Nine days a week. Nine days. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you, but snapper is one of my favorite fish. You give me fish and fritters and I am good. Let me know your favorite type of fish and how you like it cooked. 
So here are some updates for the month of November. It's finally November, so for me, it's officially Christmas season. Pirates Week starts in Grand Cayman from the 12th to the 20th. Hope to see you all out there for the fireworks and the parade. On the 5th of November is the DFAC World Finals Bodybuilding Competition. The Cayman Gospel Fest will be on the 19th of November and Remembrance Day is on the 14th. And we can't forget on the 25th of November, Spice is coming to perform. Now going back to the history question, comment down below what your answer is and let me know if you got it correct. So the answer is May 10th, 1503. Shout out to Azuka for his Cayman brand, 1503 apparel. And the name for the Cayman Islands was Las Tortugas after numerous sea turtles were seen swimming in the waters. Now this is the end of my video guys. Remember to like, comment and share. Let me know if you got the correct answers and I'll see you next time.